Assassin's Creed Mirage release window leaked. Mirage is set to be released in 2023 for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Windows, Xbox One, Xbox Series X s and Amazon Luna. Shortly after the game's announcement, the title was reported as receiving an adults-only rating from the Entertainment Software Rating Board, which would have limited the number of outlets it could be distributed at in the United States, following a listing on the Xbox Store a week prior to the game's reveal, with one of the reasons being for containing real gambling. Ubisoft swiftly corrected both claims, stating the game had not been rated yet and no real gambling or loot boxes will be present in the game. According to a Reddit post by an anonymous GameStop employee, their computer displays several target release dates and marketing information for some games, one of them being Assassin's Creed Mirage. According to the shared screenshot, the game is intended to come out in August 2023. While it's possible that this is currently the intended release month for the title, there's always a chance that dates can move depending on the development status of the project. Recent rumors have stated that Assassin's Creed Mirage may have hit a production bump, and that could possibly move the target date further if it affects the development in a big way. There have been implications that the current focus of development is Assassin's Creed Infinity, a game hub acting as an animus that connects multiple games, although it was not stated how much the shift affected Mirage. Set 20 years prior to the events in Valhalla, players assume the role of Basim ibn Ishaq with the gender choices, dialogue options, and relationship possibilities removed. After Valhalla had the Raven Sinan provide Ever Varen's daughter with eagle vision despite being a corvid rather than an eagle, Mirage will return to the method used in Assassin's Creed, Origins and Assassin's Creed, Odyssey by having the Eastern Imperial Eagle, Aquila Hiliaka, Enkidue Basim. The main location of the game will primarily be the city of Baghdad, with minor parts of the game also set at the Alamut Fortress, but it will not be explorable. The black box missions from Assassin's Creed, Unity and the Valhalla downloadable expansion, The Siege of Paris, will return with Basim being able to explore the environment and find different ways to approach and eliminate his targets. Another returning feature will be a notoriety system that will either assist or hinder Basim in his objectives. Basim will also have a variety of weapons and tools he will use, including smoke bombs, the hidden blade, blow darts, mines, throwing knives, noisemakers, and more. There will be no more leveling and XP system, only tool improvement. Basim will have to go to the Musa brothers in order to upgrade his weapons and tools, such as the blowpipe or bombs. A skill tree will allow the player to choose different effects for each of his tools or weapons. A new combat mechanic, Assassin Focus, will look similar to the various enhanced abilities Cassandra had access to in Odyssey through the Spear of Leonidas. Basim will witness the prelude of the Zant Rebellion, where the people of Baghdad rose up against the Turk forces of the Caliphate. The density of civilian crowds will echo their appearance in Assassin's Creed, Unity, and although Basim's movements were done on the same engine as Valhalla, they are built from scratch, and he will be able to move through crowds and traverse the city by free-running in similar fashion to Arno Dorian in the French Revolution. Unlike previous installments in the Assassin's Creed series, Mirage will be the first story to not be interrupted by a modern-day plot element, except for a framing device that bookends the start and end of the game. Assassination contracts and hiding places are set to return. Enemy archers can also shoot at Basim's eagle, cancelling the eagle vision, 